So if you are ever redesigning a WordPress website into Webflow, one of the things that you may run into is the need of exporting the content from WordPress into Webflow and copying and paste, it's all right if it's only a few pages, but what if you actually have a large number of blog posts that you need to bring into Webflow? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that in just a few minutes. So as you might know, we're currently redeveloping our website into Webflow and the previous website or the one that we have live right now, it's built on WordPress and I was posting a lot of blog posts there, actually not many, it was just 12 I believe that I have. But um, what I don't want to do is have to, you know, copy and paste all this content and put it into Webflow. So there's a really quick and easy way to do this and we're going to dive right in. First thing that you have to do is head over to WordPress and then go to your dashboard. And inside your dashboard, we are going to look for one last plugin. And this is a plugin that's going to allow us to do that. And then here, just look for add new. And we, I already have it installed, but if you click here to all export and you search for it, it would be the first one I believe, yep, that is that you will find right here. Now just make sure that you install the plugin and you activate it and if you scroll on the left side you will find it right here. Next we're going to click on new export and what we want to do is that we want it to be a specific post type if you want and we're going to click here and we're going to choose post because we want to only export the post or the blogs that we have on this website. If you wanted pages you can do that. Um, the only thing to keep in mind, guys, is whenever you are exporting something from WordPress, if you did build this website or the previous person who built the website were using something like Divi, you are going to be exporting a lot of div tags and div elements that Webflow won't have an idea of what it is. So just make sure that the blog posts that you are exporting are actually just written in the native um, WordPress content editor. Next, once you have figured that out and you know that you can export it um, and you do this, just you will see that now I have 12 uh, posts to export. I just want to customize my export so that I can show you something really quick. And here is where you will be able to put your titles, your content. And if let's say you were working on a website that was SEO friendly and you had like meta tags and meta descriptions and all this with um, let's say with like SEO, Yoast or Rank Math, and you're going to be able to find that right here. For me, because these are only about 12 blog posts, I don't really need to do much of that. And I will also be creating new title tags and meta tags. So for now, I'm just going to delete this one because I don't need a post ID, but I do need the title and I do need the content. And the next thing I do need is my categories. If you had created something with like advanced custom fields, you will find it right here. Um, everything else, Frank Math or anything like that would be right here. Um, it's a pretty friendly plugin to do this. And once you're finished with it, um, all you have to do is click continue. And then um, you can click confirm and run setup export. And it only takes a few minutes, seconds for this one because it's not a large website. Of course, if it were a large website, it will take longer than that. And now what we want to make sure to do is to download it as a CSV file. So click CSV and the file will be downloaded. Now that we have that saved and we um, already exported it, we head over to Webflow. Let me just refresh this page really quick. So what I want to do now is I want to take this here, um, the file that we just downloaded, and I want to drop it right here. So I'm going to click continue. And we, I'm going to map it now. That's the next step is to just map your content. So we know that this is a title. We're going to map that to name. I know that this is my content. So I'm going to map that to post body. I know that these are my categories. So what I want to do I want to map it to a field and if I scroll all the way down, I will find the categories I have created. And then I'm going to click import and this will take just a few seconds, of course, depending on how much content you have. If it's a large website, it might take some time. And also, let's say if you do have more than 50, 
um, items that you need to add to this. You might need a side plant just because um, with the free version you have a limit on how many um, CMS items you can have. But that's about it. Now we can go here and we have our blog post. The content is here. Now it's just for me to add like my images and um, you know, like the map it to a category if I if we didn't do it yet, and also any meta tags or descriptions that I want to do for SEO. So that was pretty easy, and that's how pretty much you can import anything from WordPress into Webflow. The only things to keep in mind is that if you are importing from a website that was built with Divi. Um, I think Divi is the best example I can give you because I'm not too sure if with Elementor that can happen. Um, you will have a lot of like div tags and div elements that may not make sense to Webflow because it's meant for Divi. So just keep that in mind whenever you're importing that. You might find here on your post body you will have a lot of different div containers and div um, HTML tags that may not serve a purpose into Webflow. So once you clean it up, you can go ahead and save and then click publish. So if you found this content helpful and you would like to see more short videos like this, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section and make sure to hit the bell button and the subscribe button so you can get a notification when I post another video and I will see you again in the next one.